My name is Jack and welcome to this commentary about dynamic difficulty or auto leveling AI in two games. First Far Cry 1 from 2004 and Cinebisodes Emergence from 2006. Both these first person shooters allow the player to choose dynamic difficulty while playing and since it's not something that is used wildly, I will of course will explain this. Now dynamic difficulty is pretty straightforward. Instead of choosing a certain difficulty type when beginning to play and then maybe changing it while playing, you choose a set or a start difficulty, where, which is pretty much the base level of the difficulty, and from there on the game tracks all kinds of data about the player, how he performs throughout the gameplay. For example, how much ammo he has left after encounters, how accurate he is, how much, how, he ta how, how fast he can take out certain enemies, and so on. And with all this data, the game can then gradually, dynamic and also dynamically, make the game harder or easier while playing. For example, scene episodes emergence will, depending on the player performance, maybe spawn more enemies in the future encounters or give them better equipment, maybe change out one of the easier enemies to the harder one, and so on. And thanks to this overall dynamic difficulty, this auto-leveling AI, my playthrough, my recent playthrough of Far Cry 1 was very challenging. Normal fights were something to be afraid of, at, at least it's to some degree. It was something that you had to, you had to f not only know m about how many enemies you will be fighting, but where they were located, what maybe their equipment was, and you had to prioritize which ones you took out first. There's a, a basic stealth system in Far Cry 1 that's very similar to the later Crisis, the first Crisis game, and I was actually really surprised how even. In the later game, or even the, uh, the first few fights, rather, I was, I, I, I had to be on my toes to come out of these fights alive. Even a single enemy that was standing in a corner, which I wouldn't check when entering a room, could take me out easily, without me even noticing he's there until I'm dead on the floor. And this is something you don't get as much as when you normally choose a certain difficulty. It stays there. It gets gradually harder by introducing more varied enemy types or maybe better equipment, but overall the enemies will react in the same manner, they will spot you in the same manner, they will aim or have an accuracy in the in the same... Uh, the accuracy will not get better and so on. But with dynamic difficulty you can change all these variables. You can maybe even take out a few ammo and health drops that will be in the, in the future area or and so on. You can change all this this stuff with dynamic difficulty. You could even go so far and start changing enemy placements or even certain level segments or level elements. For example, like the uh, cr uh, the payday payday games and the Left 4 Dead games are doing it. All of this could be used to change the overall gameplay experience while you're actually playing. On the other hand, the problem with this is that you can't change the difficulty too drastically. For example, if I'm playing Fallout, I can just put the difficulty on very easy, then maybe after encountering a few enemies, I'm thinking, oh, that's way too easy, and then I'm putting it on hard, which will make the game more difficult in return, of course, which, I mean, that's the purpose of the difficulty setting. But if I'm starting, if I'm already doing really good, the game can with dynamic difficulty, change the, all these settings on the fly in the background, which I think can be a very positive thing, as it provided for me at least very challenging encounters in Far Cry 1. The problem is that you can't do this very drastically, as I said, which also in turn makes it more difficult to change or make or make the game easier while you're playing with dynamic difficulty. For example, one of the larger last few fights in Far Cry 1, where by the time I arrived there, so so difficult for me that I just I couldn't beat them. I tried my best. I started uh, cheating by using very uh, by pretty much by out outsmarting the AI uh, with the stealth system. At times you can somewhat 
misuse the system to get easy kills on certain enemies. And I actually had to do that and would still fail on the after the fight went loud and offense uh, and, and the all-out offensive started. And after a few dozen tries, the game started to get easier. But the only reason it would get easier is because it would uh, stop spawning so much, so many enemies. It would spawn less enemies than before. And I noticed that because suddenly the the uh, area wasn't filled with enemies like before. And I was actually wondering, wait a second, where are all these enemies that there were before? How I haven't killed all of them, they surely wouldn't kill themselves. So I realized that the game actually took measures to make the game or make it easier for me and took out enemies from the area. And I think that's to some degree not a very favorable thing that you want to do for the player. When you try a certain fight so often, you sort of remember how many enemies there are, where they're located, where they're, start, where they're spawning. And when there are suddenly less enemies in the in, on these points, you get the feeling that the game went easy on you. The game just decided, like, huh, he can't do it, so let's just make it easier by taking out a few enemies. It just uh, feels a bit unfair and it's, it doesn't feel fun. And I think that's one of the problems why this, ha and also the, one of the reasons why this hasn't been used very much in any video games, pretty much. Because the game itself, or the, the system itself, is very adaptable to all kinds of player types when you're making the game harder. The problem is then, of course, when you make, when you're trying, have to do the game easier because certain fights maybe are too difficult. The problem here is, I think that, or in some way that you could fix this is by making sure that every fight is, even if it's one of the last few fights that ha should be hard or should be very difficult, that all of these fights are balanced and always fair and also fun in return. Which is pretty much the conclusion I came to after I finished the Far uh, after I finished Far Cry 1. And I think that's, I think it's an interesting idea. Dynamic difficulty itself is very interesting, I think. But it has still some quirks that could be ironed out by giving it a few more tries in a few games, but I doubt we'll we'll be seeing this kind of feature anytime soon, really, as it's something that appeared in at least from my memory two times by now in Far Cry One and Cinder Episodes Emergence, and since then has pretty much disappeared from the video game industry or from video games in general. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video slash commentary. Thanks for watching and maybe I'll see you in another video.